We know to turn our iPods down to protect our ears, but man, just never even imagine that a kiss could end up hurting our hearing. Reporter Jennifer McLogan met a mother who's fighting to get her hearing back after her daughter gave her a big smooch. A kiss from a child, a mother's joy, an expression of unconditional love. But for one Long Island mom who were not identifying because of her concerns for her daughter's emotional scars, a big suctioning squeaky smooch on the mom's left ear from her then four-year-old has left shocking permanent damage. It was a long sucking kiss in my ear. I couldn't push her away because I was almost frozen. And when she stopped, when the kiss ended, I realized that I had no hearing in that ear. Nothing. I got very upset and I yelled to my husband, I can't hear out of this ear, I can't hear. Her daughter was devastated. Abruptly, the silence was followed by ringing, screeching noises, days later spasms and wind whooshing sounds. Finally, she couldn't even hear a dial tone. I had had perfect hearing before this, hearing tests that were totally, totally normal. Her medical doctors were mystified. After months, they referred the Hicksville homemaker to the guru of hearing, Professor Levi Ryder, chair of audiology at Hofstra. When the child gave a big kiss and caused suction on the eardrum, the, uh, the, the chain of bones stretched, and the last bone um, separated from a little ligament. Dr. Ryder says like a vacuum cleaner or plunger, the daughter's suctioning kiss two years ago had unintentionally pulled her mom's eardrum out toward the ear canal, detaching the tiny ligaments and nerves. But he predicts his patient could eventually get better. So um, we just now have to give it time, but I think it's very important that people know that a kiss on the ear can be very dangerous. Very strange story. Now, Dr. Ryder says he found one similar case back in the 1950s. Again, he thinks the mom should eventually be okay.